Hi ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to keep going with equivalent expressions. So today we're going to identify equivalent expressions by simplifying expressions. So our instructions here say match the expressions on the left with the equivalent expression on the right. So let's take a look at our options here. Uh, we can either simplify or create an equivalent expression to the ones on the left, or expand these out to make the ones on the right look like the left. I'm going to work with simplifying these um, to see if I can combine like terms or um, simplify in any other way using the distributive property factoring. So let's take a look at number one. Uh, 4x times 6y times 2z. I can use the um, commutative property to rearrange our numbers and I can rewrite this as 4 times 6. I'll use a dot here, sorry. 4 times 6 times 2 times x times y times z, right? Since they're all being multiplied together, I can multiply them in any order and the product will be the same. So that's what allowed me to rearrange these numbers. So four times six times two is 48. So we're gonna simplify that to 48 and x times y times z. So I notice this 48 x, y, z is the same as this. So these two get matched up. For number two, uh, none of these are like terms. I have an x on the left, a y in the middle, and a z on the right, but I can factor out a two. So I'm going to factor this by dividing by two. So that means we have 2x plus 3y plus 1z or just z. That's what's going to go inside our parentheses, and this two comes down here in the front. So I notice this answer here is the same as choice B, so we're going to match those, two's up, those two up. So uh, by process of an elimination, uh, number three must be the same as A, but let's see why that works. I notice that even though this says uh, 4xy, um, over here this is 6yx, the variables are the same. So I can rewrite this 6yx over and just switch the order of it so it says 6xy. Again, they're all being multiplied together, so I can multiply them in any order. That's our commutative property. That's what allows me to switch this order. So now I have them. I can add those coefficients. 4 plus 6 gives us 10xy. And this x and z do not have the same variables as the x and y, so I can't combine it. We have to leave it separately, um, adding it on the side. So now these two look the same, and I can match this up with A. Ms. Magenta, please call 1274. 1274. Sorry for the interruption. Um, I will be posting a worksheet for you to try to match some expressions, and we'll take some calls and see if you have any questions on it. All right, speak to you soon. Bye.